Hi there, I'm Cameron Potter, and I'm here with Rajiv Dasani, the director of Watercolor Postcards. Rajiv, thanks for joining us today. Absolutely, happy to do it. Well, I am very excited to see Watercolor Postcards. Can you tell me and, and the viewers a little bit about the movie and what it was like to direct it? Well, it's a really wonderful, heartwarming story about a, um, about a small town that's dying, that's trying to pick itself back up after the large Mega Mart style stores left it. And basically it's a small group of wonderful characters just trying to survive. A woman comes back to the small town uh, where her sister has been left stranded after her mom dies. And uh, they meet this enigmatic football player next door and form this kind of unlikely family. And it's really just one of those movies about uh, kind of what matters in our life and the families that unexpectedly crop up. And really, uh, I meant it to be a story that is um, just really tugs at your heartstrings. It makes you feel something. And that, I think that was the goal. And uh, I think we, I hopefully think we achieved that. I think people seem to be reacting that way. Um, yeah. That's great. Well, I've seen the trailer and I think it looks phenomenal. I am very excited to see it in the upcoming festivals. Which festivals are you, do you guys currently have lined up? Uh, well, upcoming we'll be screening at the Kansas Film Festival. Uh, we'll be screening at the San Diego Film Festival and we'll be screening at the Breckenridge Film Festival in Colorado. Um, many more to come after that, but these are the ones sort of just on the, uh, around the bend and uh, we're very excited. So. so you had an amazing cast on Watercolor Postcards. We've got Bailey Madison, Laura Bell Bundy, Conrad Goody. What was it like to work with this phenomenal crew, with this phenomenal cast, rather? Uh, it was absolutely amazing working with this cast. You know, when, when I first got the script and talked to Conrad Goody, the, uh, the producer and writer of the project, um, who also was one of the stars as well, uh, I, I told him up front, I told him this movie requires a, a caliber of cast to really pull it off. You know, these are very rich characters and they can't just be slapped off. They really have to be dug into. And uh, this cast was, they were just amazing. I mean, I, I really did not believe the caliber of talent that we were able to, to achieve. Um, Bailey Madison is probably the most talented young child actress I've ever worked with. She just, she just nailed it. She knew what she was doing. She knew who her character was. She brought depth and passion to every take, no matter how many hours we had worked. Um, on the flip side, you had John C. McGinley and Jonathan Banks, who were these old pros. I don't mean old, but you know they're they're <laughs> like you said that. they've been in the business a long time. And really, I just with them, you had to do so little. They just they brought it to the table, and they just they they knew how to be compelling. And it was a masterclass in in acting and directing, watching them work. Um, and the rest of the cast, we just had so many great quality character actors: Rhett Giles, Conrad Goody, um, uh, um, Claudia Christian, just. These, and really people that I grew up, you know, I was a kid, you know, I was a kid growing up watching Babylon 5, watching Claudia Christian, and suddenly, you know, here she is on my set, I'm telling her where she should be. You know, Jonathan Banks, I love Breaking Bad, suddenly there he is on the set. You know, these, these are just, these are my heroes. And to work with them was amazing, and they did not disappoint, really. They showed me that there's a reason these people are who they are, and they were incredible in the movie. How exciting for you to be able to work with some of your heroes and the people that you've looked up to. And Absolutely. That's a very great accomplishment for your career. And I know you've got lots of more, lots <laughs> more good things coming on the horizon. But is there anything else you'd like to share about watercolor postcards? Um, yeah, I'll, I'll just say we, we put a lot of heart and soul into it. You know, and I, I think, unfortunately, you know, there's a lot of movies these days which are just feel like product and feel like they were built you know, to be, to be just sort of put out there. Whereas we put our, our heart and soul into making this a film that means something, not just to us, but to the audience. And that's what I encourage people to, to look at when they watch the movie, is that this is something crafted from love. And that's, that's what you'll get out of it if you watch it. Absolutely, it's got to have a rich character and a rich mm -hmm. story uh, storyline behind it. And I think exactly. Watercolor Postcards absolutely uh, nailed that one on the head. So absolutely. very excited to watch it. Thank Be you. sure to like Watercolor Postcards on Facebook and check out their website, watercolorpostcardsthemovie.com. I'm Canberra Potter.